In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own AI chatbot in two minutes with no coding experience required using a platform called Poe. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Callaway and I make videos to show you how to use new technology like AI to level up your life. If you think that's interesting, consider subscribing. All right, so we're gonna break this video down into two parts. The first is actually how to make the bot, and the second is why I think this platform, Poe, is a game changer for AI adoption. And I hate when YouTubers don't just get right into the tutorial, so let's do it. All right, so first thing you see here is the Poe platform. It's poe.com. When you first log in, you have to enter, enter an email to create an account, so do that. You'll get to this screen here, which is poe.com. So you'll see on the left side, these are all the different bots that Poe has. Now, some of these aren't there by stock. You've got the GPT-4, the Claude Plus, Claude Instant, ChatGPT, and Dragonfly. Those are the ones that come on stock. Now, the cool thing about Poe is that you can actually access GPT, GPT-4, ChatGPT, all from right here. And you know, you might be asking, why would you want different models? So if you actually, if you go to, if you go to poe.com slash about, the documentation here walks through the different models that they offer out of the box and why some are better than others, right? So Claude Instant tends to be better at creative writing tasks. So if you have a creative writing task, you might want to use Claude Instant instead of GPT-4. Claude is from Anthropic, GPT is from OpenAI. So review those. You can actually use Poe without making the bots, which is pretty cool. But then you'll also see four different bots here. So Leo Cook's business ideas blow my mind and inspire me. These are all bots that I made. So Leo Cook's, you can click on it and see what it's about. Above average meals for average cooks made by world renowned chef Leonardo. So this is one, this one's about cooking. This is a business idea one. So basically I say, give me a business idea to create a $1 million a year business. It summarizes the idea and then gives me a step-by-step -step playbook to do it. This one's called blow my mind. So I literally just type blow my mind and it gives me a crazy fact that I've never heard of before. And then what makes it mind blowing. And then this one's called inspire me, which gives me an inspirational quote, who said it, and then a cool fact about that person, which I thought was kind of interesting. So these are just like little ideas, cooked each of these up in like two minutes. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to build your own. So today we're gonna build a bot called Ab Master. And the goal for Ab Master is it's gonna give me a fresh five minute ab workout every single time. First thing is you're gonna wanna go to create a bot. And the first thing you want is the bot name. Now I'm picking Ab Master. You wanna pick a name that is easy to remember, right? It's almost like a domain name in a way. These links are basically po.com slash the bot name. So in a way, there's value in finding a simple word, one word name that's like low characters. Not a lot of people know about this right now. So you can go and create, create bots and you don't wanna squat on all these domain names, but if Po becomes the platform of choice, you're gonna want yours to have easy recall. Okay, so we're gonna go with Ab Master. Now for bot description, I pre-wrote some of these. We're gonna paste this in. Randomized five minute ab workouts delivered by Greek fitness trainer Adonis. Now I'll get to the why I add the delivered by Greek, Greek fitness trainer Adonis part at the end. Each one of these bots over here has kind of like a personality to it. And I'll talk about why I did that in a second. Next is the base bot. So it doesn't really matter which one. Now you can review, like I said, you can review the documentation. If you're doing a more creative task, maybe use Claude. I'm just gonna use ChatGPT for now. Now here's the main, this is where the sauce is made, right? The prompt. So this little toggle, if you have it on, anybody who clicks on your bot can see the prompt you gave it. If you have it off, the prompt is hidden. Now the prompt is kind of like the instruction manual that you code into the bot in the back end. So what, this, what is basically happening is when someone comes to your bot and types the trigger word or just says hello, what's gonna happen is the bot is going to run almost a command that you put in this prompt. So it's really important that you think through thoroughly what instructions you're giving the bot. Okay, so I pre-wrote mine. I'm gonna copy this in, but I'm gonna walk you through why I wrote what I wrote. I'll do that now. All right, we're back. Here's the prompt that I wrote in. You can see it's pasted in here. I wanna walk through it with you guys. So pretend you're the best fitness trainer in the world. You're all knowing, your name is Adonis. Users are gonna to come to you to get randomized ab workouts. It's up to you to decide if you want to share 10 30 second exercises or five one minute exercises or any variation. The total number of exercise time should add up to five minutes and no exercise should be less than 30 seconds. So I'm trying to like give constraints, right? If you say, give me an ab exercise, it might not know where to go. The more details you provide, the better for it to be consistent and repeatable. So I'll keep going. When a user says, let's get shredded, you'll give them a simple table with the name of the exercise, time for the exercise, a short description of how to do the exercise, 
and a tip to make sure they're getting the form right. If the user wants their ab workout to be longer than five minutes, provide them with an ab workout that fits their desired time, but make five minutes the default. So I don't know if this is gonna work exactly that way. We'll test it and see, but basically anybody who comes here who just says, let's get shredded is gonna get a five minute ab exercise and it's gonna be randomized every time. Now, the next step is intro message. Now this is kind of like the preceded text. When someone goes to the link, they're gonna see the bot name and they're gonna see the intro message. You don't have to include this, but I think it's really helpful to help guide what the user should do. Again, people are simple. They just wanna be told what to do. So in the instructions in the prompt, I said, when a user says, let's get shredded, do it. So what you want the intro message to have is something that instructs them to say, let's get shredded. So here it is. I'm gonna paste it in here. Hello, I'm a world famous fitness trainer, Adonis. Message, let's get shredded and I'll give you a custom ab workout. It's that simple. It's really simple is all you have to do. Now, the last step is optional, but it's the picture at the top. Now this gets back to what I was saying about giving a character to each of these. So Leo Cooks is Leonardo. The business ideas, Giorgio, I forget the name, but they each have different names. The reason you want this is because people connect more with a person or a character than they do with just a text description. So it's helpful to give, you know, a representation of kind of this like character or this brand behind. People will remember, oh, there's this like Greek guy, I don't really remember his name, but like they'll associate the image more so than the text. So I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna go to Mid Journey and actually create like a Pixar style guy that we're gonna include in here. So I'll pause and come back. I'll make another tutorial in the future if you guys want around how to make a Pixar style character in Mid Journey, but that's not for this video, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back, just added the character. You can see the picture here. Again, this is a simple Pixar character made in Mid Journey, took two seconds to make, which is really cool in itself. I can go over that in another video. All right, so now we're ready to go. Let's test it. I'm gonna press create bot. It's loading just like that, the bot's created. All right, now the most important thing is does it work? So. As we said, let's get shredded. Here's standard ab workout, bang. It's as simple as that. Now, it the little column headers are a little constrained here because the chat window is tight, but you can see everything we wanted is right here. The exercise, the time, and the description. If I had a wider window, I could expand this, you could see it. Now, people can use this, they can like it. It'll train the bot on things they like, things they don't like in terms of the exercise they gave. Now, let's say we want, this is great, but can you add two more exercises? Let's see if it works. Perfect, so it just added the two. And I think if we prompted it again and said, put them all in one table, it would do it. So again, columns are a little compressed just because there's so much text over here. I could have it fix it if we want, but it's that simple. Now you can make this for anything, travel itineraries, recipes, motivational quotes, whatever you want which is pretty crazy. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this breakdown. Again, if you got any value out of this tutorial at all, please like and subscribe to the video. It helps keep us going, keep the channel going. And if you have any other ideas for things you wanna see us review, drop it in the comments. Peace.